Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Reviews. Today is a weekly Star Wars recap for April 19th, 2021. So yeah, we got some uh, High Republic uh, news this week. Uh, uh, some Bad Batch uh, poster art also. But uh, before I get into that, jump into new releases, which um first, um someone came out last week, there's only one new release, and that was Bounty Hunters issue 11, which I thought was okay. Um, I should have a full review of that out soon. And then coming out this week is uh, Dr. After Issue 9, which came out April 21st, 2021. So yeah, um, that'll be the final issue before the War of the Bounty Hunters for uh, Dr. Afra. But um, anyways, jumping into the news, there's um, something about the new Bat Batch uh, poster, which um, it's kind of like a, um, like a, you know, like a... I'll have it up on the screen so you can see when like the box like is that like a classic kind of look. Kinda of did that with the Force Awakens and um uh Rise of Skywalker posters. Uh so yeah, and well I guess the the prequels also kinda of had that look and some like uh, a New Hope, I guess also the poster, but uh we're on the original Star Wars, it wasn't a New Hope at that point in time, but Anyways, uh, I'm rambling on. The poster shows the uh, five members of the Mad Batch. You know, um, Hunter, Wrecker, Tech, um, Echo, and um, Crosshair. And uh, also shows the kid who might be named Omega. And then at the top is Palpatine. And a few other things in the background and whatnot. So yeah, it's a cool poster. Obviously doesn't reveal much. Um, interesting that Palpatine is at the top of it. Um, I don't know if he has a much bigger presence in the show than thought he would be. Obviously, we know there's that hologram, uh, scene in the, uh, first trailer. Um, was it in Order 66? I don't remember, uh, exactly, but, uh, yeah, um... So, yeah, that's really it there. Obviously, the show starts May 4th, and I'll be doing reviews of it as the episodes come out. So yeah, anyways, jumping into the High Republic stuff, um, there's a lot of new High Republic news, uh, mainly descriptions on all the upcoming uh, Wave 2 stories. I did a video on it, which you can uh, check out. So yeah, there wasn't really anything new other than a new uh, short story announced for the uh, Star Wars Insider co or comic uh, magazine. Um, Titled The Hidden Danger Part 1, which will be written by Justine Ireland. Uh, so, yeah, everything else is already known. Um, like I said, I did a video on that, so I'm not going to repeat it too much. I'll have it in the uh, cards, if I remember. It'll definitely be at the um, on the end screen. But um, afterwards, um, I was, like, there when now that was, you know, uh, released, I was surprised there was no info on the Monster of Double Peak uh, graphic novel, but... A few days after that was released, there was more info released on the Monsters of, or Monster of Temple Peak comic, um, which was originally going to be like I said, a graphic novel release, so it was going to be all at once, but now it's going to be a uh, issued release, it'll be a four-issue uh, series starting in August, so yeah, but uh, they showed uh, two pages from, uh, I assume the first issue showing the main character, uh, Ty York, uh, take down a uh, gun dark on a planet called the uh, Blarum, I, Blarum, I don't know, um, so yeah, but, uh, there's also some more details on, about, uh, who Ty York is, which, you know, I've seen, you know, she's like a saber for hire, monster, hunter, force sensitive person, but it was revealed that she was a former Jedi Padawan who left the Jedi Order, and then became a, uh, like I said, uh, monster hunter saber for hire and whatnot. So yeah, um, which that's pretty much all what's been uh, revealed for her. I uh, did one of those um character short thingies for her. So yeah, but it's interesting that she was a uh, part of the order and left. Um, which you know she'll be appearing in the Rising Storm, you know, novel, uh, adult novel run by. Command Scott, who's also writing the Monster of Double Peak comic, and the uh, Race to Crash Point Tower, the middle grade novel written by Daniel Jose Older, and seems like she'll be working with the Jedi in those stories. Um, so yeah, you know, with her working with the Jedi, I'm interested to see what the uh, 
Jen I uh, think of her um, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, yeah, but also it seems like uh, the Monster of Tempe Peak will take place before those stories. Kind of dive into uh, Ty York's past. So very uh, interested in this character. Mainly because of the Saber for Hire monster hunter element. It's uh, an interesting concept for a uh, force user so yeah um but yeah like i said that comic will start in august and i'll be doing reviews of it when it does but uh some more comic uh news um last week i talked about a, a java uh the hut one shot for the war of the bounty hunters uh crossover series but now uh the trade paperbacks for an entire all the uh crossovers in the main mini series were uh, listed online, but the one with the one shots also uh, revealed what the other uh, one shots will be, which there'll be a um, Forlom and Zuckus story, a Bosch story, and an IG88 uh, story. So yeah, I'm very excited for the uh, Bosch uh, story. We just don't really have many uh, stories about him, so yeah, it's it's main. Stories are mainly with uh, Leia impersonating him. Uh, so yeah, and even in um, Legends, there really isn't a whole lot um, about him. So I'm definitely uh, very excited for that. Um, obviously, for Lamazak, it's nice to get more of them. Obviously, they've been in the Bounty Hunters ongoing series a little bit. And the IG-88 is also uh, cool to get more of him. Uh, obviously, I... Don't know how he don't know how he gets uh, reconstructed after he was destroyed on Cloud City, so I wonder if uh, we'll learn about that or not. Which I believe IG88 will also be in the one of the Darth Vader issues for the uh, crossovers. So yeah, but uh, anyways, that's it for uh, this week. Um, this weekly Star Wars recap. Next week I'll be talking about something. I'll probably be talking about comics. Uh, I think comics will. For July will be officially, you know, fully revealed the descriptions. Um, we already basically know every single issue that's coming out, so yeah. But uh, anyways, um, also you can check out my uh, reviews for High Republic and whatnot, and also um, you can eventually check out my reviews for the War of the Bounty Hunters comics and the Bad Batch and whatnot. But yeah, um, for now, I've been Star Wars Review, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. You know who we are. Hunter. Let's go. Echo. Hyperdrive's online. Tick. Prepping to jump. Rickon. Let's blow something up. Yeah! And Crosshair. Your move.